What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another King James video. Now today, we're going to be doing something a little bit more fun than the usual stuff we do on the channel. Uh, going back to the roots of thrift shopping. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but right behind we got a couple of folks already lined up at the thrift store. Now, there's no particular limit on this challenge. We are just going to go to at least three to four thrift stores around this area, and then we're going to go ahead and see what we can find. So, it's about 9.54 right now. Store opens up at 10 o'clock. Six minutes. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, thank you. First stop was a complete skunk. No type of cameras, no photo books, not even any jackets or anything like that. So, we're going to be moving on to the next spot. I'm not too disappointed just because there's a couple more. I still have faith, and I believe and I hope, cross fingers crossed, that we do find something special today. Next, okay, apparently we're at like thrift shop central. We got a Goodwill right here and then on the other side right here we have the Salvation Army. Now on the walk up here, actually drive, I saw this beautiful car sitting right across the street. Now I kind of want to take a picture of it, but at the same time I don't. Now the only film that I have with me is uh, some HP5 loaded in my Olympus X set, but it is that beauty right on the other side. Let me see if I can go ahead and sneak a quick little peek of it there. That's the car right there. What a beautiful piece of machinery. losing hope for this town here. Backup plan, if we don't find anything right now in this city, we're gonna head back to my hometown and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a couple of shops there that are gonna have a couple of things. Pretty good, how you doing? Good. He watches the YouTube channel, what's up man? What's up man? What's your uh, name? Adrian Diaz, uh, Instagram, hey I'm Adrian. Hey, hey I'm Adrian. <laughs> All right, what do you shoot with? Uh, Canon A1, a Lawn 7E. We're out here thrifting, and so I'm just walking in, looking at some books, and he's like, he's like, I can feel, I can feel he was like talking about like, you know, you're into Sony, and I was like, yeah, Sony's okay. Pentax, yeah. Thank you. Pentax ZX50, kind of bunk, kind of, what is this, Nikon, Nikon FM, this is what it looks like, we got Nikon FM here, kind of lenses on top, Nikkor 50mm F2, is that F2, yeah it's an F2, I've never heard of this brand before, De Jure, De Jure, I don't know, lens made in Thailand, nice white though, nice white. All right, I don't know what this is, but it says Yashika on it. Let's see, open it up here. Wow, look at that. Okay, so first of all, we have a couple of what looks to be converters. This one is a, uh, a wide-angle converter. It says Yashika, so obviously it goes with this camera. Now, what camera is this, though? Let's pull it out, and let's see. And it's a... Yashica Electro 35. Look at that. That's nice. Wow. Beautiful black camera here. A little dusty. Could use a little cleaning, but there's some nice patina on the sides. The only problem with this camera is if they break on you, it's pretty much the end of it. Although it does seem to be firing right now. All right. Minolta XD5, reminiscent of my. XD, uh, XD11 that I really enjoyed but I sold it off so the lens looks actually 
looks like it's in really good condition. Has a UV filter over the top of it. Actually, skylight filter. XD5, huh? All right. If you ever see this on the camera, that means the camera is pretty much broken, even if you go back here. Scanner. So it looks like they put out some fresh powder. Starting off right here with a Vivitar T200. Not interested at the moment. Sorry, Mr. Vivitar. Oh, what we got here? We got an Olympus Trip 500 with a little case for 298. Not bad of a deal. So lately, what I've noticed about their sources, they've been charging eBay prices, and um, one of the guys that works here, I kind of talked to him about it, and they say they do what the price is on eBay, and they cut it in half. All right, here it is, the stash. So we got this little Samsung Maxima. Got some panorama cameras in here. What is this? Ansco. Huh. So there's nothing too crazy in this one. At the top here, we got this little six millimeter type of thing. Here's a Minolta, Minolta AF10. Does it open up? It does. Okay, we got a nice little Nikon case. Look at this beast, Kodak Metalist 2. What's Gucci with my people's love? So it is day number two and I'm with Drew right now. Uh, we're hitting up some more thrift stores just because it was super unsatisfying the other day not finding jack diddly squat so we're out here in sacramento i say jack diddly squat why <laughs> fuji film olympus trip md3 hey 75 cents boy what what'd you find oh this is iqz zoom Dope. Drew with the fine though. Pentax Zoom 60X. And it has some film in it. Looks to be Kodak Gold. 35, 2.8. Big, big. Came out with the steel. <laughs> All right, so we're at the next spot right now. Uh, this place is a place that is special because Compact Camera Club, AKA Bert. Dude almost tried to run us over. Showed me this spot, so let's go ahead and check in there and see if we can find any goods. Let's get it. Okay, looks like we got a couple to look through. Levitar Series 1, HP, ooh, an Ansco. That one's kind of weird looking. Jiva, yes, yeah, that's another skunk. What is this, a Maxim? Okay. Another trip MD3. It's the brown thing. <laughs> Let's go for it. White tag. Half White price. tag. Oh wow. This market. 9.98. Oh, yeah, you're uh, down to 4.99. All right. So it'd be like five bucks right here. Yep. Cool. That's it. There it is. Uh, where did I see? Oh, they put the other one up there. There's another camera up there. Got a little Fujika action. And tax K2. Has some film in it too. Oh, nice, nice. I didn't look in this pocket. I just checked the other one. The new phase. Got a little cannon in a black case. What is this? Let's see. You know how they're good, right? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, it's a cannon sure shot. Super. Yes. Yes. Drew. Yes. <laughs> Mic check. Check one, two. Well, what do we have here? We have a bag. Well, it's not just any bag. This is a bag full of deals and steals straight from the thrift. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. There's a bag within a bag and there's a lot of stuff. So let's just go ahead and get started and show you guys exactly what we picked up from this weekend's thrift shopping adventures. Let's get it. All right, so the first things we have here are these little uh, case logic cases that are padded. Um, I picked two of them up for the price of about 99 cents a piece. And so this is two bucks total. Um, this just makes for some cool, uh, you know, little spaces to put your pointy shoots, for example, the Olympus 
Mew 1, my favorite pony shoot of all time. Uh, I can go ahead and stuff that in there. It also comes with a little carabiner and a belt strap to conveniently place your stuff in there and keep it protected. The next thing I have is this super dope Nikon uh, red case. The exact model number for this, I believe, is the CF20. And uh, this will go ahead and house your Nikon F3. So I have the F3 right behind me, actually. And what's really dope is it has these little metal lug straps that you can you know put your straps through and it just makes the camera have a little bit more grip and a little bit more protection uh, so this is what it looks like with the grip on uh, as you can see here it's not very straight but it looks pretty sick uh, the red leather definitely looks very luxurious um, along with this so probably going to keep this just to put it inside of the case uh, when i'm not using the camera uh, just so it doesn't get too dusty but this is a super dope find i picked this up right here for a total of about seven bucks all right now moving forward we came across this really dope set of filters and there's about I think five or six filters in here um, I picked this up for half off so it was 18 bucks divided by two which is nine bucks uh, but I got a couple of filters in here first I have this really dope yellow filter that actually fits on my uh, Sheikah mat uh, 124 which is right back here so I'll go ahead and demo that in a little bit we have a nice little red filter uh, perfect for more contrast if you need it landscapes I got a bunch of yellow filters as well which I really need and they all actually fit most of my lenses so that is gonna be super useful uh, I really wanted to start shooting more yellow filters uh, we got a couple of orange filters in here also a I believe it's a polarizer in there and then we also have another Hoya filter uh, just sitting inside of its original package so nine bucks for you know a ton of filters you can't go wrong with that if you guys don't know the effects of what filters do to your film or your images uh, you guys can look all over YouTube there are tons and tons of resources all right now this is the last non-camera related thing and it is a box of Fujifilm 200 speed uh, uh, superior right yeah and this expired in 2017 now I picked this up at a thrift shop first of all and it was a grand spanking total of three bucks divided by two because it was 50% off so this was a dollar and fifty cents for four rolls of Fuji 200 you can shoot expired film folks get your steals on the deals you guys know I love this stuff this is the shit over here onto the cameras all right, the first camera we have here is the Minolta Freedom Zoom 125. Uh, as you can see, the price tag on the bottom of this says $3.49, but I actually picked this up again for half off, and it was $1.75, which is a super good deal for this type of camera. I honestly feel like this is probably one of the most underrated pointy shoots. This is the first camera that I found on Saturday. Uh, it was $1.98. Now, I actually haven't even opened this up yet, but it can, uh, but... It is this camera right here. This is the Olympus Trip MD3. And I've heard a lot of good things about this camera before. Uh, and so I wanted to go ahead, pick it up. And it feels very boxy and plasticky, but you know, the results from that I've seen people get from these are actually surprising. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this out. And it also came with a little yellow, not yellow, sorry, um, a little leather Olympus case, which is actually fairly nice. I'm gonna get that here in focus. Next up, we have this dope little leather case here that says, Canon right up at the very front. Now the price tag on this one was $19.98 and I was like, okay, that's not bad for what's inside, but it turned out I got 50% off of it, so it was 10 bucks. Now what do you ask is inside of this thing? It can only be the one and the only Canon SureShot Supreme. Now this camera has a really weird shape to it. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It, it looks like a little ramp. Um, and it, there's also this really nice, actually, actually it's pretty ugly. <laughs> there's a little bump up here. Uh, but I've heard a lot of good things about this camera and that it has a really sharp lens. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot. If it's something that I wanna keep, I will hang on to it. Otherwise, if you guys are interested in something like this, you guys can always follow me on my Instagram at King Japes or update on my website. Uh, there's gonna be a ton of new products up on there as well. So you guys can go to kingjapesphoto.com and see later on if this will be up there. And last but not least, probably the best find that I found over the entire weekend. It happened not to be a camera, but instead it was a lens. Folks, this right here is the Asahi Pentax 85 millimeter 1.9. Now this thing is gorgeous. It is an absolute beauty. Now, if you guys didn't know, uh, if you guys ever owned like a Pentax Spotmatic SP, uh, one of the most famous lenses on there are the Super Tacomar 50mm 1.4, which is actually an extremely sharp lens. Sorry, I can't talk today. Um, and so I thought this one would be sharp too. 
and luckily I found this one to be in really good condition as you guys see here there's absolutely you know no major scuffs major blemishes it also came with the OEM lens hood which is insane so you know I found this at the thrift store and I saw it and I was like the 85 man is gonna be worth a pretty penny so it came with the lens cap and I got this for a total of let me get that here in focus 15 bucks now if you take 15 and you divide it by two it's about 750 so that's what I paid for this mostly all the items that I found today were 50% off just because it was the weekend and they know more people are gonna be out thrift shopping all right you guys so that's gonna wrap it up for this week's thrift finds I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that thumbs up comment down below if you guys enjoyed these type of videos um, and if you guys want to see more also before we go we have Minolta gang t-shirts i also have a bunch of nikon gang canon gang t-shirts available for sale if you guys want to purchase one of those and rep your gang go ahead and go down to the uh, description below click the link and then it'll lead you over to the website where you can purchase the shirts so minolta gang canon gang nikon gang uh, for the other gangs like olympus pentax i'm still working on it uh, but we will get you guys some love pretty soon so thank you guys for watching you know i appreciate every single one of you you guys have about a week and a half left to enter the giveaway thank you guys for watching another king jets video i truly mean it when i appreciate you guys and you guys are the best viewers and audience in the world. And as always, what does the shirt say? Minolta Gang. Bah!